This video looks at transmission wind-up in part-time and full-time four-wheel drive vehicles. In part-time four-wheel drive vehicles, differentials are fitted to both front and rear axle assemblies. When a two-wheel drive range is selected, the drive is transferred through the rear propeller shaft to the rear final drive and the differential gears to the rear axle shaft and the road wheels, much the same as a front engine rear wheel drive car. The differential gears allow the rear wheels to rotate at different speeds when the vehicle turns left or right, while continuing to transmit equal torque to each wheel. When four wheel drive is engaged, the front axle is brought into drive by means of a dog clutch in the transfer box. The drive is transmitted through both the front and the rear axle assemblies and differential action occurs on both. However, in a turn, side swivelling of the front wheels for steering makes the front wheels travel a greater distance than the rear wheels. This causes a difference in the rotational speeds of the front and rear wheels, which in turn causes a difference in the rotational speeds of the front and rear propeller shafts. Since there is also a difference in inner and outer wheels, each axle shaft now turns at a different speed. Differences in speed can also arise from differences in tyre tread wear between front and rear or in tyre inflation pressures. In a full-time all-wheel drive vehicle, all four wheels are always driven and the difference of the relative speeds between the front and the rear axle, which occurs when turning left or right, is accounted for by the fitting of a third differential inside the transfer box. The third differential, allowing the front and rear propeller shafts to rotate at different speeds while transmitting equal torque. However, this third differential will be locked when low range is selected, or the third diff lock is engaged by the driver, locking the front and rear propeller shafts together, as previously seen in the part-time four-wheel drive vehicle. In both part-time and full-time four-wheel drive vehicles, since the front and rear propeller shafts are now locked together in the transfer box, the difference in their speeds cannot be absorbed in the transmission, and the transmission driveline can be subjected to torsional stress, known as transmission wind-up. In off-road conditions, the differences in speed can be absorbed through slippage of the tyres on the uneven surface. On firm road surfaces, only two-wheel drive should be engaged, or in the case of permanent four-wheel drive, the diff lock should be disengaged. This is to prevent excessive tyre wear and possible damage to components in the transmission driveline. 